A very handy tool for manipulating data is CyberChef. The tool is freely available. You can run it uh, online through its hosted version, or you can download a copy and run locally, uh, which even though the logic occurs on the client side, I would nevertheless recommend if you're dealing with particularly sensitive data that you download a copy and run it locally. The tool itself is very simple. There are a set of operations which we can browse through or we can search through. Uh, we use operations to build a recipe, and that recipe is then applied to the input that we type. As you can see, I don't have a recipe currently, so when I type test, we get the output of just test, right? It's as simple as that. Uh, we can search for something that we might want, which could be as simple as Base64 encoding. If I want to learn more about the operation, I can hover over it, and it gives us a nice little uh, information card. Uh, but I think we should know what 2 base 64 does. It takes our input and it base 64 encodes it. And so if I drag that into the recipe, immediately you'll see that my output has been base 64 encoded uh, because down at the bottom we have the auto bake on. So these rules are the operations in the recipe is applied uh, instantaneously. Uh, every time something changes, it will be applied and we'll see that reflected in the output. We could turn that off if we wanted to just to play around with the input without the output changing and click bake manually, but I very rarely have uh, a case where I need to do that. Usually I keep auto bake on. So there are all kinds of operations that are available to you from encoding, decoding, to encryption, to even pretty print, uh, which we'll look at uh, at a moment. Um, and not only can you just type input here, but you can also load the input from multiple files or a single file. And I'm going to use the example of loading all the files in a folder because I think that could be a handy operation for many different use cases. So uh, I click that icon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file of, or this folder of JavaScript files and I'm going to load that into uh, CyberChef. Of course, it warns us uh, to only do this if we really trust what we're importing. And of course, uh, please be aware of any untrusted data that you're putting into CyberChef. It's quite powerful. And just like any other tool, harm could come to you. So be careful with what you're doing. Of course, I know what we're loading in here. So I'm going to click Upload. And that now has taken all of those different files and put them in here uh, across different tabs of input. And there are all kinds of things that we could do with this. Um, in this case here, it's not super interesting. Uh, this is all JavaScript. Some of it is minified. Uh, so one thing that we might want to do to make this a little bit easier to uh, browse through is uh, pretty print or kind of beautify it rather. So if I search the operations for pretty, luckily they've got a tag for JavaScript beautify for pretty. So it pops that up and I can just move that over into the recipe and I can view uh, a very nice um, uh, beautification of that otherwise minified and, and hard to look at JavaScript. Granted, it's still very hard to look at in this case, uh, but it at least gives us a little bit more uh, white space and uh, makes it uh, easier to parse. Uh, you can also combine, of course, operations, right? We could do this and then we could base64 encode it, um, which you probably will never have a reason to use these two <laughs> operations in this order to produce something like this. Um, but you can do it. You can take any operation and you can stack them uh, in any way that you would like. And it applies them in a sequence from top to bottom. And uh, there are many cool recipes out there that uh, people have created. And you can, of course, easily save your recipe or you can load recipes from others. I think a really interesting way to explore what you can do with the tool is going online and looking at the recipes that other people have uh, created and um, also think about different use cases that you might have. In particular, if you're working with Burp and you have uh, really weird uh, combinations of you know, in encoding, decoding, encryption, compression, um, you might find that it's a lot easier to work with CyberChef and you know, instead of Burp's decoder, which is a very limited tool, taking the data out from Burp uh, and putting it into, into CyberChef. Um, maybe an easy way to do that if you're dealing with not much data is copying and pasting, but anything more than that, if you're dealing with you know large sets of data, it maybe makes sense to save those to a file and then load it into, uh, into CyberChef. Uh, all sorts of things you can do with the tool. Of course, the, uh, the best thing you can do if you haven't used it is to just get started with it with simple tasks and explore the operations that are available. I'm sure you'll come up with something that you find useful.